Male versus Female Golden Doodle Did you know that either choosing a female or male golden doodle can make a big difference in the kind of experience you have? It's true, and today we're going to get to the bottom of why that is, as well as explain what kind of differences you should expect. Size, the training experience, and even their personalities can all be different depending on which direction you choose, and so it's important you have all the facts before making a decision either way. But before we get into that, if you could please leave a like on the video, we would really appreciate it. Now, let's see how gender affects your golden doodle. Size One of the most pronounced differences between the male and female golden doodle has to do with their size. Traditionally, the male golden doodle will be the larger dog, and they'll have about a 10% advantage when it comes to body weight. This gives both dogs a slightly different appearance, as the male will be a bit more broader and barrel-chested, while the female will be slimmer and sleeker. While the size difference is worth mentioning, it usually doesn't feel like that big of a deal as an owner, and it is mostly going to be an aesthetic choice. There's no shame in going with the kind of dog you picture in your head, but you should know that there will be a somewhat noticeable difference in their appearance. Behavioral Differences Do male and female golden doodles have any difference in their behavior? Well, that's a question that the dog community has been talking about for quite a while, with many different theories and opinions circulating around. The general line of thinking is that female dogs demonstrate meeker qualities, meaning they tend to be a little more reserved and that they don't really want to steal the spotlight away from whatever is going on. Male dogs, on the other hand, are considered to be more outgoing and playful, but a little harder to control and much less docile. People believe that male dogs can also be more aggressive and that you must be a more competent dog owner to handle their somewhat erratic tendencies. We're here to tell you, however, that nothing could be further from the truth. Simply put, there is little to no evidence to suggest that gender will have an impact on the behavior of your dog, or that it will make them more aggressive or standoffish as a result. Dogs all have their own personalities, and so really the only way to know what kind of golden doodle you have is to experience it yourself. Doodles are loving, affectionate, and more than a little silly, and that's not going to change depending on if you pick a male or female one. Training, attention, and exercise will all have far bigger of an impact on what your dog is like than their gender. Training and Learning Abilities Golden Doodles also don't experience any differences in their learning abilities based on gender, but your overall training experience with a doodle will be different than with any other dog. Golden Doodles are very easy to train, and they're both emotionally intelligent and motivated by food. Training either a boy or girl golden doodle is going to include a lot of treats as well as a lot of positive reinforcement. These dogs hate being scolded, and it can actually affect both their mood as well as their performance. When you're training a doodle, it's very important that you are kind to them, as this will give you the best possible outcome. These dogs are motivated by your reaction, and jumping up and down in excitement or cheering them on can actually do wonders for them. Reproductive health. Just like with human beings, the male and female reproductive systems are different and will require a different approach. Luckily, studies have shown that there really are no differences when it comes to health risks or infections, depending on if you own a male or female golden doodle. But what may afflict them can actually be quite different. Male golden doodles can develop prostate cancer, especially as they get older, and they can also develop prostate infections due to bacteria. Cysts in the reproductive region, as well as cancer, are potential worries, and so keeping an eye on their health and taking them to a vet often is pretty important. For the female doodle, issues such as uterine or breast cancer are unique to them, and are also something you will want to monitor closely. Checking for abnormalities semi-regularly can help you or your vet spot an issue before it has a chance to become serious, and so owners of a female golden doodle must also keep an eye out for problems. There are steps that you can take in order to limit the potential of reproductive diseases or infections, however. Getting your dog spayed or neutered can help, at least according to most specialists, and so that's a route worth considering as well. 
Grooming The grooming process is identical for both male and female golden doodles, as both will need to visit a professional around every 8 to 12 weeks. You also want to regularly brush your doodle, since this will help prevent tangles or matting from occurring over time. Other than that, bathing them once a month is recommended in order to keep their coats as healthy as possible. Consider the gender of your pet at home. If you already have a pet at home, then that should also factor into your decision on whether to get a male or female golden doodle. Typically, dogs will do better in pairs, so one female and one male is better than two females or two males. Whether or not the dogs have been spayed or neutered is also extremely important, and it can make the process more complicated if they haven't been. Two male dogs that haven't been neutered may be more territorial towards one another, but a male and female together could lead to an unexpected pregnancy if you aren't careful. While it's absolutely impossible to know for sure how two dogs will get along, you're going to want to take into consideration what may happen, and you may want to even do your own research on it too. Luckily, Golden Doodles aren't very aggressive or territorial, so you shouldn't have to deal with that much tension after the initial warming up to one another stage. But you should still remain vigilant to see how your new dog and old one are getting along before leaving them alone together. Raising your own dogs Obviously, if you're looking to raise your own dogs, that changes the discussion entirely. Up until now, we've mostly discussed dogs from the perspective of a hopeful owner. But if you're planning to breed dogs of your own, then that's a whole other story. Breeding dogs is a complicated matter that should be done with a lot of care and thought, since Golden Doodles already struggle enough with bad breeding practices from people trying to make a quick buck. If you want to begin breeding, you should probably start with a female. This gives you the control to shop them around in search of a male from someone else, or later introducing a new male of your own to the family. You also will not be able to spay or neuter your dogs, obviously, and they may act slightly differently as a result. Some people swear by neutering and spaying in order to make them more docile, but some recent research suggests that their overall personality and temperament may not change that much after all. Overall, it's mostly up to preference whether you lean more towards a male or female golden doodle. Luckily, the differences between the two are mostly down to the kind of experience you're looking for, and there really is no right or wrong choice on which to go for. But we would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section on what side you're on, and why you feel that way. That just about wraps up our video today, but before you go, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more dog comparison videos, guides, and more tools to help you be the best and most informed dog owner you can be. We'll see you all next time, and we hope you have a great one until then.